Okay, hello everyone. My name is Karina. I will be presenting today my work that it's called WDM Ripoff for Distributed Mime Li-Fi for the Li-Fi system. This work here is a joint work with the ICRO and also SPS group from the Eindhoven University and also together with Signify. We all work together for Elliot. I will explain a little bit more of the Elliot project in the next slides. First, I will introduce what is the project Elliot. Then I will start the motivation of the project. Why do we want to use Li-Fi? What is our idea to use this? Why we want to introduce the distributed MIMO? And I will then introduce two main approaches for implementing distributed MIMO, that it's the spatial division multiplex and also the wavelength division multiplex. Then I will enter more a little bit in the WDM approach that is our focus here. And I was then introduced the distributed MIME signal process that we use to estimate the performance of the system of our system for the WDM. Then I went to finish the presentation with my results and my conclusions. The project added comes from Enhanced Lightning for the Internet of Things. This project is innovation action of the Horizon 2020. And we work together industrial and also academic partners to develop a visible light communication to bring new features for the IoT applications. The four main goals of the project is to use POF as front hole for the Li-Fi systems and also apply distributed MIME for increasing throughput and reliability for our system. This would be implementing the wireless parts of the system. We also want to apply handover between cells and our positioning using time of flight. For the motivation of this work, we have that for the future of IoT is defined by integrating large numbers of devices. These devices, they are usually interconnected using wireless links, but this can be a problem with the large increase, the increased numbers of devices being integrated and this will increase with the years and this will cause a congestion in the electromagnetic spectrum. So this demand is even higher for indoor scenarios where we spend most of our time. So one technology that can overcome this problem is the Li-Fi technology. The Li-Fi can use the lights to transmit the data and also be used for communication, data communication. But we need a broad, broadband and also EMI-free front hall to interconnect the Li-Fi access points to the access network. One of the options that we have is to use optical fibers. We have two main options, that it's the silica fiber that can be single mode or multi mode fiber. And we also have the plastic optical fibers. Uh, for here, we, uh, we choose to use the POFs because they are do-it-yourself technology. They, are, they have small bending radios. They are also low cost and they use visible lights that can be easier to work with. Another thing is that we want to introduce the concept of distributed mile in the wireless link to increase the capacity of our network and also the rel reliability of the network and also can make users be more free to walk in the room. And here in this picture, you can see, for example, one idea of how POF can be used in one in-home scenario, but it can also be used for industrial scenarios and also off scenarios. Like I said before, we want to implement the distributed MIME concept in the wireless link, and we have two main approaches that we can use to accommodate, accommodate the distributed MIME. First, we have the SDM, Spatial Division Multiplex Technology. SDM technology is a mature solution. It's a well-known solution where we use one color LED, usually for POFs we use red LEDs, but in this case we have each signal is transmitted through one fiber. So this can cause a problem for cabling because we have so many fibers in the ceiling. So another option that we have is to use the WDM technology that we have each signal being transmitted into one color and they are all coupled together in through one same POF. But for these, we need another colors LED. We need to have more than one color. We have commercially available other colors of LED, but they are usually suitable for illumination and not for communication. So this can be a problem for this case. To implement the WDM, we need one multiplexer 
that can also be used one power combiner and also a demultiplexer. And the most challenging part of implementing the WDM for POFs is to make a, a functional demultiplexer because we need to be careful with the crosstalk that it's the leakage between the adjacent, adjacent channels that we are going to have in each output. And also for us to implement the, the WDM at POF, we need to work in these Windows transmissions here because POFs, they, they work in the visible range. And these are the three transmission windows that they have lowest attenuation for POF. So we always work considering these three different regions. For the multiplexer, multiplexer we have several off the shelf commercially available approach uh, that we use for power splitters and power combiners. Uh, the two most important that we are using here is the Agilitron. Agilitron, they used fused POF to manufacture the power combiner and also the die mount that they use slice the core to manufacture their power combiners. And for the demultiplexer, we do not have any off the shelf demultiplexers. So we are making them here at TUE and we are working especially in two different approaches. They are, the both of them, they are uh, for based on decrack filters, but the difference is that they both have low losses, but this one with the 45 degree incidence filter, and this one is zero degree decrack filter. The main difference between them is that for the zero degree, it is much more compact, so we can be, we are able to put these in the ceiling. When the 45 degrees filter, it's a bulk solution, so it's not easy to be uh, moving around and placing it in the ceiling. However, the zero degree decryct filter here, we have, we are only able to use two different colors. We can't scale all these to more channels. So we have two different colors coming in. They are, when the, the collimated bin, the bin come, are, arrive here in the WDM filter, one color is going to be transmitted and the, transmitted and the other one is going to be reflected. So this can be only used for two different colors. When the 45 degree filters, we can use as many colors we want, uh, remembering that we need to use always in the visible range. Uh, so far, uh, we have not connected yet our WDM setup with our Li-Fi setup. So what the, we did first was implemented the distributed MIME signal processing so we can have an estimation of our system performance considering POF and LiFi. So our output signal can be estimated in using the frequency response, the concatenation of the frequency response of the POF channel and the LiFi channel, where the frequency response of the POF channel is called by GF and the LiFi is ZF. And to make this, this estimation be as close as the real scenario as possible, we considered the crosstalk in the POF scenario and also in the Li-Fi scenario. So we can have an overall channel matrix if we multiplicate, make a multiplication of the POF matrix with the Li-Fi matrix. And when we get the single value decomposition of this overall channel matrix, we can have we can calculate the throughput using equation three, this equation here. And with the SVD channel, we can decompose the MIMO channel into a set of independent channels. So if we, we make a sum of all of these independent channels, we can have the achievable throughput of, the, of all of our system. For the results, we first start implement the SDM and First, only the SDM over POF. So we only have POFs here in this scenario. We use the, the, ship, the max linear evaluation kit. So we connected them into red LEDs POF transceivers and coupled them into each POF. So the SDM, like I said before, we have each channel being transmitted through one POF. And for this case where you use only POF, we have 1.6 gigabits per second for downlink and also for uplink. So we have symmetric performance for both ways, for uplink and downlink. 
Then what we did was to estimate, the, to measure the performance for only the Li-Fi li channel. So for this, we used Ethernet cables so we can have the performance only for the Li-Fi channel. So in this case, we got 0 0.7 gigabits per second for downlink and also for uplink. Then we combined them. We put both POF and the Li-Fi system using first the SDM. So in this case, you can see here the setup in the lab. We have here the ceiling nodes and also the user nodes. So the distance between the ceiling nodes is 0 0.8 meters and between the ceiling nodes and the user nodes is one meter. Uh, this is the, our POF transceiver and this is the MaxLinear evaluation kit. And here you can see the POF that it's feeding our ceiling nodes. So for this case, we got the 0 0.5 gigabits per second for downlink and 0 0.6 gigabits per second for uplink. Then we start the, our work in WDM. Here you can see the WDM based in 45 degree Zcrack filter. So for this, we could estimate the throughput. We had measured this, we generate our signal using one AWD and we modulated two laser diodes, one red in 658 nanometers and another green in 520 nanometers. We coupled them to one power combiner and then these signals, they are separate in each color, green, red and green. And all the, the process, the signal process, it was made offline by, Mat, by MATLAB. And this here, you can see this schematic, but in the lab where we have our laser diodes, our power combiner here, and this is the DEMOX implemented. So for this DEMOX here, we have uh, 3.2 dB loss for the green output and 3.6 for the red output. And the crosstalk would be for the green output, there will be this output here. So it's this crosstalk is defined by the amount of red that we have in the green output, it's minus 13 dB. And for the red output that is going to be here, it's minus 25.7. And if we check the throughput here that we got, we have 2.5 gigabits per second for the green channel and 4.3 gigabits per second for the red channel. It's an unsymmetric performance, as you can see. And this is mainly because our two laser diodes, they have different optical power, the green one, the, it has lower power than the red. And also another point is that our receiver, it's optimized for the red wavelength. So it has receiver, the receivers, receiver sensitivity for the green is lower than for the red. And here you can see the second approach that we are working. These were, were characterized using green and red LDs, but also they were tested using blue and, and red, so we can or use blue and red or green and red. But like I said, we can only use two different colors here because we are going to have two colors coming in. One's going to be transmitted and the other one's going to be reflected. This one's the one that I told you that it's compact. So you can see here, this is how it looks like. It's only 12 centimeters. And for this case, we have minus 11 dB crosstalk for the green output and minus 25 for the red output. And the loss for this DMOX, they are 4.6 and 4.5. But we believe that this loss can also be reduced because these approach use connectors, puff connectors, and they have high losses actually. So we can, the connectors, they are contributing to our losses. Can you slowly wrap up, uh, Karina? What? Time is about up, so if you can wrap up, that would be nice. Oh yeah, this is my, there is just this one in conclusion, sorry. So for the WDM over POF, what we did was the estimation, like I explained before, the achievable throughput. We used two different scenarios here, uh, change the di distance between the, X, the ceiling nodes and also the, the user nodes. So we used the SVD values to estimate the overall throughput here, and we got 800, 484 megabits per second for scenario one and 369 megabits per second. We made this using the 
45 degree decrack filter, but we believe that it's going to be very similar using the zero degree because we have similar performance of cross talk and losses for both of our DMOX. So what we can conclude for all this is that the project Elliot is the first attempt to investigate the potential of LiFi for IoT applications and that we can use POFs to fit the LiFi luminaries because they are low cost and do-it-yourself solution. And also we can achieve, can achieve multi gigabits per second throughput. And for us to implement the distributed MIME in the wireless link, we have two main approaches, that it's the SDM and WDM. So in short, what we can say is that POCs, they are a promising wireless, wireless technology for the wireless IoT applications. Thank you for your attention.